This video is intended for audiences over the age of 13. If you are not 13 years or older, please click away from this video now. You have been warned. Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James, AKA JP, back again with the Toy Room. Uh, more specifically, back again with the Coronavirus Chronicles Episode 3. And today, we're gonna go toy hunting at Target. Now, yes, I know, I know, everybody, don't kill me, you know, you're supposed to stay inside, you're supposed to self-quarantine, you're not supposed to go anywhere unless it's essential, yes, I know, but as long as you take the right precautions, uh, you know, you'll be okay. You go to the store, you don't really interact with anybody, try not to touch that many stuff and wash your hands when you're done, don't touch your face, I mean, you guys know, just take the right precautions, you'll be okay. I've been going to Target pretty much like... Uh, I want to say maybe three times last week. I've been to Walmart as well. So, um, yes, I, I, I know you're supposed to stay inside, but uh, I, I can't stay inside. And I want to give some um, some entertainment to you guys, so I'll, I'll take the risk. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and head over to Target. We are going incognito, so I am using the phone camera, so the audio and video quality is not going to be as good as it normally is. Uh, but, you know, it, it'll be good enough. So, without further ado, let's head over to Target. <music> Here, I always like to take a look at the graphic t-shirt section first. I own this t-shirt. This is such a great t-shirt uh, We got the ramen noodles NASA Taco Bell a Bunch of NASA tees. That's like a new like hipster thing Biggie Got this Mickey shirt Garfield I got a Spongebob one. This one's cool. I own this one too. One of my favorite ones And on this side Bunch of band t-shirts. Boys in the hood. Oh yeah, what's this Marvel one down here? We got this Marvel one. It's kind of cool. This weird like pink Sonic one with the rings inside of Sonic. That's interesting. MTV. They got good PlayStation one. This side. Uh, I got this sick Spider-Man one, I like this. A 90 Spider-Man cartoon. Lion King. Uh, what else? Venom, this is an old one. 64. Zelda. And then... Oh, they got a Jurassic Park one. If the shirt was black, I'd pick this one up. I don't like the dark gray. I own this shirt, Mandalorian. And I got this one for Christina. All right, let's head over to the toys. So as you can see, it's not an empty store. Like people are out here, but uh, let's head over. Now to I'm the back place. here in the clearance section. They got all these 3DS games that they kind of just took out of the Nintendo section and threw them back here on the clearance rack. But none of these are actually on clearance. These are still like $20, $30 full price. I'm waiting for all of these to get like clearanced out and um, so they can just try and get rid of them. And then I want to pick all of them up. Yeah, just got a bunch of random stuff here. It's not bad for three bucks, so. What is this? Activity Tracker. So it's like a knockoff Fitbit. Oh, for three bucks. Even ten bucks seems a decent price for this. I might pick this up. It's only three bucks uh, for Christina's mom. It's like a knockoff Fitbit, but I mean, hey, it's worth a try. Uh, they got, I don't know what this is, like an Apple router or something? Alright, nothing really interesting here. Let's check uh, the Nintendo section. Shelves are pretty empty. I heard uh, all the Switches have like sold out. They do have a good selection of games. Yep, literally all the Switches and even DS is all sold out because everyone is stuck in the house quarantining and stuff so they wanted to uh, pick up handhelds. Let's go around this way. <laughs> And my target is in the middle of like remodeling and stuff too. Oh wow, even the Sega Genesis Classic sold out. There were a bunch of them here the other day. I got the arcade one up, Pac-Man. Right there. And then just regular Xbox. Let's see if they sold out. We got Xbox and PS4s. 
So the Xboxes and PS4s are still in stock. That's interesting. The Switch is all sold out, but those are in stock. And we'll come back here to the the pops. This thing is just such a sick looking pop. It's got a bunch of detail in it. Got the Eevee. This one's sick. think there's anything new star wars does come out tomorrow um and i will be picking that up but i'm gonna pick it up at walmart because i like that version the best so stay tuned for that review oh here's something slightly new spies in disguise and i know frozen 2 just came out should be up here there it is frozen 2 uh, let's head over to the toys so they did remodel my target so I'm still kind of getting used to the aisles here is all the pops the rest of the pops I should say they have the target con section but nothing too interesting it's a lot of the same stuff that's been here but um, we'll hop back here to the Legos Lego City Captain Mario did reviews on those. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to do so. The more the same way right there. Squirtle, I still need to find the regular Eevee version. Board games. And speaking of board games, there's like no monopolies left. Barely any puzzles are left on the shelf. You just got kind of the games that nobody wants. A bunch of old stuff, really. A ton of Black Series. This guy's been sitting around for a while. Oh my god. This wave here. So nothing too interesting there. And some older figures as well. I'm coming to this side. Some Marvel Legends. We got the Game Reverse figures from the PS4 Spider Man. We did have the Black Widow figures here the other day, but as you can see, they're missing now. Oh, actually, here's one of them. Black Widow. And some Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. I'm not sure why these are even still on shelves since there's no movie out or anything. But we do have some Onward figures, so those are new. I haven't seen these yet before. Oh, and these too, Monsters Inc. This is pretty cool. They might pick this set up. I wonder how much it is. That's obviously not the right tag for it because that says onward. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this to a price scanner. If it, uh, it's probably gonna be expensive. It's probably gonna be 30 bucks, maybe even 40. 
I don't know, that's a cool set. In Toy Story 4, I'm surprised this hasn't really got like phased out yet either. Some more Roblox stuff here. So, this way. We got the Hot Wheels. really seen anything interesting this is this is funny donut peach nothing new I'm pretty caught up with all of these I got any new Fast and the Furious, but it doesn't really look like it. A lot of the same old stuff. Pokemon over here. Yeah, this is what I was telling you guys. This is the whole puzzle section here. Completely emptied out. Oh, look what we have here. This is just kind of randomly sitting back here. This is the new Shredder and Krang re-release 2-pack. That's just randomly sitting over here, but there it is. I think that's it for all the toys. The Nerf Isle, the Fortnite Nerf. Oh, toy room around. Yeah, that's just dog food here. So I think that's it, but there's really not too much left in stock i mean toy wise there is but just nothing really interesting or new but i do want to see how much this monster zinc set's going to cost because it's actually really cool so let's go to the price scanner real quick and then leave <phone rings> 30 bucks why does it say onward though that's weird Huh, interesting. So that comes up as onward in the system. So it's 30 bucks. It's a little bit more than I want to spend on it because, again, these are just like kids' toys. They're not like fully articulated, detailed, or anything like that. So I'm going to leave that behind. Oh, I did find some more onward merch here. And this guy. Oh, hold up. They do have these. I did see these for Toy Fair. The cosplaying aliens. Oh yeah. We're getting we're getting those for sure. Oh man, I'm mad that I missed out on the rest of them. I'm definitely picking up this whole series. So we're missing three of them. Yeah, we're definitely and they were here too because you can see oh is this another one? Oh, hold up we found one more all right i'll have to look around to see if we find any more i don't see any oh yeah we're definitely picking these guys up yeah so i need two more i need buzz and i need uh i guess that's mr incredible yeah definitely cool all right so let me go check out and i'll catch all right guys, guys we're back in the car just to show you guys uh i know it's coming up reverse on the camera but hand sanitizer so i am being safe being prepared so just for anybody out there who may think i'm being irresponsible you know whatever it is what it is but i am sanitized now this stuff smells so good it's actually coconut and lime scented hand sanitizer and it smells phenomenal and i lost the cap i don't even know where i just put it okay i found the cap so i've never actually rested my phone here where it is so i'm gonna try and rest it there and see if it'll stay there while i'm driving um something tells me it's not going to but um we'll see i'm trying to get out into the sun because the lighting in this parking garage just sucks 
Um, but yeah, so uh, I was a little awkward in some sections, I guess I would say, or a little quiet because there were people walking uh, past me in the aisle and I don't like to catch other people on uh, on video, obviously, for multiple reasons, just because, uh, you know, people don't want to be recorded or whatever, whatever. I know my steering wheel is getting in the way. I'm surprised the phone's actually staying right now, but, um, and you know, I don't like to also, you know, talk <laughs> to the camera in front of people. It's just weird and awkward. Uh, recording in public like that so uh, if I did get a little quiet in some sections or a little awkward I guess I would say that is why um, but other than that I mean you guys can see that it, uh, Target you know there's people in it there's people out and about uh, there's cars all around me right now so people are going about their uh, their daily lives and whatnot um, <clears throat> you know it's just it, it's safe to do so in my opinion just be cautious I guess be careful if you are gonna go out obviously wash your hands uh, you know be wary of what you're touching and um, you know wear gloves as long as you're not treating your gloves the same as your actual hands because if you're wearing gloves but then still touching everything and touching your face it, the, it really defeats the purpose of gloves so um, that's really it just just be be careful be safe I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this vlog the coronavirus chronicles episode 3 um, toy hunting at Target I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on Instagram that links in the description down below I'm really impressed by how my phone is just staying put right here on the speedometer but uh, yeah so uh, that's gonna be it for this video I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys next time